Hi, this is Gary Gibson, and I'm going to introduce our Tronics 3 Basic Electronics Oscillators and Amplifiers Lab. This is another fun lab that you do learn by doing by building circuits on a solderless breadboard. As you open the book, you'll see that this lab comes with a large solderless breadboard, and you use different parts to build the circuits as we discuss them. You open up to the inside of the manual and you will notice that it has the complete inventory here of your speakers, your switches and so forth and parts and transformer and etc. Okay, then you notice that there are five lessons here. One goes into vacuum tubes and transistors. Another one goes into transistors as amplifiers. Then we talk about audio amplifying systems, transistors and amplifiers, and oscillator applications. So turning the page, our first lesson has to do with regulating electric current with vacuum tubes and transistors. So we go through the discussion here about where those circuits are used and we continue on. We talk about amplifiers with a crystal microphone and an amplifier in your power source and we discuss how that was done with tubes the vacuum tubes are still in use today, so we do cover that theory, and we cover it a bit here so that you understand what's going on there. <clears throat> we continue on, and we talk about the transistor with the solid state amplifier. And here we discuss the different kinds of transistors and how they're made, how a transistor amplifies. We discuss how from the microphone you get a weak signal, then you send it through a transistor amplifier to make it louder. We continue on here and you actually build a transistor checker with the electronic parts and here you can see the diagram about how you put that together. The next lesson as we come along is lesson two, transistors as amplifiers. We discuss some of the basic transistors that are out there. We even go into a bit about how they're made, how they're put together, and some of the theory about how the transistors are worked and how they are assembled and we discuss the different transistors. How transistors are manufactured and assembled, preparing the silicon, the diffused junction process, and assembling the transistor. Then we talk about the transistor checker, the transistor light meter, the audio amplifier, and we have things that you fill in here as you go along to make sure that you're understanding. Here is a transistorized well, actually, this is the basic light meter without a transistor in it, and then we continue on and we actually have you build a transistorized light meter using the parts in the lab. So we continue on here and lesson number three, audio amplifying systems. We talk about the system overview, the audio reproduction system. We show how that's done in today's world with all of the tape drives and the tuners and the CD players and so forth the amplifier, the preamp and the power amp, the preamplifier, the power amplifier, amplifier specifications discussing continuous power output, frequency response, signal to noise ratio, important parameters in our amplifiers. Then we go on and discuss the uh, the record player with the platter and the motor and so forth, so you understand that theory. There are still these out there. They still use every form of reproduction of sound. So we discuss the cassettes, the 8-tracks even, and the reel-to-reel, -reel, and we continue on talking about the <clears throat> transmission of AM signals, FM signals, talking about the speaker, the headphones, how all of that works together. Then <clears throat> We have you build an audio amplifier with the parts that are in the lab. Then we continue on and lesson four, transistors in oscillators. What are oscillators? And we discuss those and they're used throughout all the music industry. Every time you hear any music, you are listening to oscillators and here are the different kinds. And we discuss what makes up an oscillator with electronic parts, how those work, how that functions. We discuss the crystal oscillator and the unijunction transistor oscillator and <clears throat> we continue on through different kinds of oscillators to give you a good background of what that's all about. Then we have you build some audio, audio oscillators with transistors and here are a few of the ones that you build. 
Then in lesson five, oscillator applications, we discuss where they're used, how they're used, how the ear works regarding amplitude and pitch, and we discuss the sound and how it's reproduced, and the microphones, and etc. And we go through here discussing the radio and all of its different stages. And this is quite a nice overview of oscillators and amplifiers to give you some understanding and a basic start in the world of all the digital and electronic oscillators and amplifiers. We hope you enjoy this little lab. It's Tronics 3 Basic Electronics Oscillators and Amplifiers.